USL's basketball season is all but lost, but they still have a lot to play for. They'll just have to take it. One shot at a time. Getting fit has always been a problem amongst Americans in the United States. But why is that? Primarily here in Mississippi, as diabetes rates have reached an all-time high. The University of Southern Mississippi continues its rise up the stairs of success. With new buildings such as the Trent Law Center and Sienna Hall, the sky's the limit. The Lady Eagles continue to keep their season alive, completing a comeback double-digit victory over the Texas Southern Tigers. With the win, the Lady Eagles move one step closer to winning their first WNIT championship and even bigger, a chance to bring home the school's first basketball championship since the men's NIT victory in 1987. Senior forward Tamara Jones says the idea of playing in Reed Green for the last time gave her and the team the motivation to pull off the victory. Um, you know, I didn't really want it to be our last game, especially, you know, not only our fans and our students and our, everybody that supports us. So, you know, we had to go out there and do everything that I could do to help us. Head coach Joy Lee McNilla says that all credit goes to the fans and that they will be the difference down the stretch in this tournament. When they started chanting in that second half, it's probably the loudest it's been in here in a Lady Eagle basketball game. And it's going to be critical that we play on Sunday with that kind of crowd behind us. The Golden Eagles now look on to their next test as they face TCU in hopes of advancing to the WNIT Sweet 16. With Hub City TV, I'm Perry Robinson. The Lady Eagles continue their hot start to the season, completing a three-game sweep over the Mississippi Valley State's Devil X. With the win, the Lady Eagles move one step closer to winning a conference USA championship, and even bigger, a chance to compete for a college World Series appearance. Starting pitcher Daniel Block says this series serves as a good starting point to reach their goal, but the team must continue to improve. We just want to go up from here, you know. Um, We've, we've lost a few more than we wanted to, um, but we've also played some really great games. So we just want to continue improving. And where we are right now and where we were at the beginning of the season, we just want to be better as a team, uh, better teammates, better players, uh, just all around better by the end of the season. Consistent winning at home will help the team and head coach. Wendy Hoga says the fans and atmosphere make winning much easier. I love playing here in front of our fans and our place. Uh, just, just love everything about being in Hattiesburg. Excited about it. With Tub City TV, I'm Perry Robinson. I'm excited, okay. Beauty and grace comes in small packages. And with the help of the Pine Belt community, a charitable vision came to life. She's Crowns for a Cure is a beauty pageant in conjunction with Relay for Life, with all proceeds going towards to benefit the American Cancer Society. Featured guest speaker Macy Mitchell, the current Miss University of Southern Mississippi, says that this event impacts the community in more ways than what people can imagine. At last year's pageant, we had the opportunity to raise $2,000 for a young girl here in Petal who is suffering from leukemia. And I had the opportunity to take these funds directly to her house um, to meet her and meet her family. And it was one of the, the most amazing, amazing experiences that I've ever had the opportunity to be a part of. And, and I've just seen the way that these funds have directly benefited her and her family, and it's been so great. Each contestant has a personal tie to someone that has dealt with the battle against cancer. Fellow MC and current USM student Grace Monroe says that certain aspects of this event is what makes this even more important for the community. It's a an issue. It's a it's cancer. It, it, it impacts every single person that you come in contact with. It impacted Macy with her grandfather. It impacted Gabrielle, the girl that um, crowned these um, girls in the pageant. So. Um, 
I think that no matter who you come in contact with, cancer is, is around us. Reporting for Hub City TV, I'm Perry Robinson. Trailing by 24 points with 10 minutes to go in the second half, the Southern Miss men's basketball team appeared as if they were here towards their 20th loss of the season. But the Golden Eagles gave their fans one final treat as they stormed back to defeat UTEP 63-60. It was the largest comeback in school history and the perfect way to send off Chip Armelin on senior night. Play a lot, we, you know, we kept fighting. I mean, we was down like 24, 25 points. I mean, we just kept digging in, you know, trying to find a way to win, you know. And that was pretty much it. I was kind of like emotional inside, but, you know, I had to like soak it up and get ready to play. But, I mean, it's going to definitely be the, uh, a great memory, like forever. What a great, great way for, for this basketball team to, to, to play their last game at home and have Chip hit a huge shot. Uh, have Jamie, have Shadell, have everybody make some plays that, you know, when things looked really bad and uh, I quit coaching and gave the gave it to the players and said, you guys play the last 10 minutes and I'll be quiet and let the assistants have it. Just kidding. But, uh, but at the same time, you know, you can coach all you want to, but they, you give the guys the credit. They went out and made some plays, made some shots. We just said we want to finish it strong and do for Chip. Do for Chip. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the last one. Let's go out, go out with a bang. <clears throat> and didn't look pretty at first, but we kept on fighting. We kept on fighting, and we chip and chip away, and we got it. Got the win. Knowing what they've been through, knowing what's happened to them, knowing what's been taken away from them, uh, and it ended like this. I mean, guys. Let's be real, 10 minutes to go, I'm thinking, wow, we're fixing to get beat 30 or 40. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, but they didn't think that. They, they kept fighting, so I'm, I'm so proud of them. And as I told them after the game, uh, that's what happens when you believe in something. The best part about this day, uh, just getting the win with my guys. That's pretty much it, you know. We've been fighting hard for the, for the whole season, and this was pretty much the biggest game of, uh, of our season. You know, I just wanted to go out with a bang with me and my teammates, and that's what I did at home. By defeating the number two team at Conference USA, the Golden Eagles improved their record to 9-19. But their season finale won't be any easier as they travel Thursday to take on the number one team in the conference, Louisiana Tech. From Reed Green Coliseum, I'm Perry Robinson for SouthernMiss.com.